With the launch of INS Vikrant, the Navy now has two aircraft carriers, alongside INS Vikramaditya, to protect the western and eastern seaboard. But the Navy doesn't have enough warplanes to keep both of its carriers running at the same time. Both the Vikrant and the Vikramaditya can hold about 30 planes. At the moment, the Navy only has about 45 MiG-29 multi-role fighters. And these are the only aircraft that can fly from a carrier. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited's naval version of the light combat aircraft Tejas did not meet the needs of the Navy. The Aeronautical Development Agency is working on a fighter with two engines that can be flown from a deck. But it is not expected to be ready until 2030. It means that getting fighters from other countries is the only way to meet the requirements. Both the French Rafale Marine and the American F-A-18 Super Hornet have successfully finished operational demonstration tests. And the Navy is considering purchasing either of these planes. To do this, the Indian Navy has sped up the process of buying 26 fighter jets for its two aircraft carriers after looking at the test results of the F-A-18 Super Hornet and the Rafale. According to the sources, the trial team recently sent its report to the naval headquarters. And the evaluation process is at an advanced stage and is expected to be completed very soon. Hornet and Rafale Marine The Navy hopes to get the 26 aircraft within three years after placing the purchase. And out of the 26, the Navy wants eight two-seaters for training purposes. The Rafale, on the other hand, is a single-seater, but the Super Hornet comes in both modes. One advantage the Super Hornet has over the Rafale is its foldable wings, which reduce its wingspan from 44 feet to 30 feet, making it more adaptable to be accommodated. The Super Hornet can carry four anti-ship missiles, but the Rafale can only carry one. The Super Hornet has a maximum takeoff weight of 29,900 kg. Whereas, the Rafale has a maximum takeoff weight of 24,500 kg. Although the purchase of 26 planes for the IACs is necessary, but India should stop buying planes from other countries, and instead, it should accelerate the development of its own indigenous fighter jet, like the twin engine deck based fighter, the advanced medium combat aircraft, and Tejas variants, for its Navy and Air Force. The HAL twin-engine deck-based fighter TEDBF, is a carrier-based, canard delta-wing, twin-engine combat aircraft presently under development for the Indian Navy. The twin-engine deck-based fighter is designed to conduct a variety of tasks, including air superiority, air interdiction, anti-access or area denial, anti-ship warfare ASW, and electronic warfare EW. It is scheduled to take the position of the Mikoyan MiG-29K on the INS Vikramaditya and INS Vikrant. The program was formally launched in 2020 in response to the Indian Navy's displeasure with the operation of a single-engine carrier-based fighter, Tejas. Another major project, Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft, which is an Indian program to build a fifth-generation stealth, multi-role, air superiority fighter for the Indian Air Force and Indian Navy. At present, the AMCA is planned as a fifth-generation fighter, but will integrate emerging, best-of-breed sixth-generation technologies over time. The Indian Air Force will receive Tejas Mark 1A jets by February 2024. The Ministry of Defence has set a target of making 83 planes by February 2030. The jets will be in two variants, 73 of these will be the Tejas MK-1A configuration, while 10 jets will be twin-seater and used as a trainer aircraft. If the DRDO, HAL and ADA sticks to the aggressive timelines then the IAF will be able to incorporate those planes, which are now under development, into its fleet by the middle of the decade.